Almost the entire history of life on the island of Key West can be oriented in and around the history of this house. The oldest house is a natural step back in time. It's not simply the house, it's everything in the house. So if you're interested in learning about how people lived in Key West in the early 1800s, the oldest house is the place to do that. It's, uh, it's uh, actually a, a slice of life from that time period. And, uh, uh, it doesn't put any restrictions on where you can walk, where you can look, uh, what you can touch. It's, you become part of history when you visit the place. So that's, that's to me the big attraction of the oldest house. The origins of Key West, of course, occurred in the 1820s, and at that time a man named Richard Cousins had immigrated here from Green Turtle Cay, Bahamas. He was a skilled carpenter and he began building buildings, and this is one of a number of buildings that he built. We know the house was completed by 1829, when the original survey, plot survey of the city was completed. It is believed he lived here for a year or two. At that point, he rented the house out to someone that he knew, a, a mariner, a sea captain, named Francis Watlington and Francis' young bride, Emmeline. They were in the house as renters by 1832. In later years, Emmeline would go on to become the owner of the house, and then the house stayed in that same family into the 1970s. I think it's unique in that it's, it's a kind of house that people can relate to and say, I can imagine pretty much what it was like living in this house. And I always say, well, if the Watlingtons walked in tomorrow, they'd say, oh, this, is, this is my house. The oldest house is open from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m., five days a week, closed Wednesday and Sunday. Uh, during those hours, people are able to take a tour as they want to do it. We do not have scheduled tour times. There are docents like myself who volunteer their time here and will show people around the house talk about its history and the people that lived here. 